My name is Jeff Demore. I'm with Converter Accessory Corporation. And today I want to uh, demonstrate for you CAC's air operated tension brake. Um, this is an unwind stand that we built for um, demonstration of our equipment. And today we'll be, again, uh, speaking about the brake. And the air operated tension brake is underneath this guard. And um, before I show you the brake, I'd like to just show you a couple features of the guard when CAC supplies the guard with the brake. Um, we normally design our guards with uh, expanded metal sides to allow airflow through the guard because the brake does heat up, it generates heat just like any brake. And if this was a solid enclosure, you basically would be creating an oven and it wouldn't allow um, uh, the air to, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the brake to cool. Also, the, the bottom is completely open so it allows for maximum airflow. When we design the guard, we also design it with these uh, slide valves which come into operation with the brake and so uh, which I'm going to explain in a minute but um, that's these slide valves will operate the brake so now I'm going to remove the guard and this is uh, converted this is CAC's air operated tension brake and basically it consists of um, friction pads which I'm going to show you later in the video of, 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 of more a close-up view of, of the pads and then um, has two uh, calipers uh, that rotate and they have fins on them to allow for cooling because because in converting um, air brakes are continually continually slipping so we need a, a good amount of cooling and this brake does allow for that so when we attach the air to the brake um, we can turn the brake on and off we have a, a valve to turn the, the main air to the brake on and off. So now we have air going to the brake. But right now, the brake is spinning freely because um, these slide valves are off. So right now, I can rotate this brake very freely. And that roll of material is mounted on CAC's air shaft, which I have described. That air shaft has built-in lateral adjust, which is in a separate video. So this air, this roll of material is mounted onto an air shaft and it's locked to the air shaft and to this through shaft, which is going through the brake. So I can rotate the brake and, the, and you'll see the whole roll of material is moving. To, to operate the brake, this brake uh, has friction pads which are mounted in aluminum, in, a, in an aluminum housing. And the friction pads are operated in pairs. So you can operate two, four, and then we have another one of these housings underneath. So we have two, four, six, or eight pads. And each set of pads adds proportionally um, more torque. So if I operate just one set of pads, you'll see those pads move in and out. When I, when I move this valve, you'll see those pads move in and out. So here the pads are off and the brakes, they're all off, and the brake can move very easily. Now if I spin this, and I energize that, it stops the brake pad. So spin this, and that's how the basically how the brake operates. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, show you how this brake operates in, in, a, in a running condition. So I'm going to engage one set of pads, and now that brake is locked. It's not completely locked up, it will slip when I turn the rewind stand on. So now I'm going to start this equipment up. So now, with one set of pads engaged, we have web tension on this on this roll. So you'll see if you come over here, you'll see how much uh, tension we have on the web. So that's a fair amount of tension. But if I engage another set of pads, now I just doubled the torque output of this brake. Now you'll see there's a lot more tension on there. It's getting more like a drum. I also have the ability to engage another set of pads. Now there's a whole lot of tension on this material. It's very much like a drum. And I have another set of pads that I could engage as well. So to run to run in a, a, a normal set of a normal amount of tension, we're going to disengage two sets of pads. Now I have two brake pads or just one set of pads that's again putting tension on the web. 
Now typically, when you control this brake, this brake is controlled with, a, with an air regulator. So you don't want to use the, the um, number of pads, you don't want to use that to control your tension. You want to use an air regulator to control how much tension you have on the web. What the, the reason these pads, you can turn them on and off, the reason for that is it gets you in the torque range that you want to be. And because of that, we get a very broad torque range with this brake. We have, uh, we can control anywhere between about two pound, two inch pounds of torque up to about 3,000 inch pounds of torque with one brake. And we do that because we have anywhere between two, four, six, or eight pads. And then we have three different coefficients available of friction with these pads. So the higher the coefficient of friction, the more torque you get with, with the brake. So to control this tension, I can, right now, this tension, right now the torque, I'm sorry, right now the air pressure on the brake is about, if you look there, is about 20 PSI. Now I can turn that tension way down. I can turn that, you'll start to see that move. That's turning up, and then you'll see it turn down. And then if you look at the tension on the web, now it's very loose. So if I turn that, if I turn that air pressure back up again, you'll see that I increase quite a bit the tension on the web. So the control, the control for the brake should be the air pressure going to the brake. The higher the air pressure, the more tension you'll have on your web. That control can be something as simple as manual regulator like I have here, but also you can very easily control this brake with an automatic tension control, either ultrasound or closed loop like load cell or dancer. Um, another feature of this brake is it's very extremely easy to uh, change out the friction pad. So I'm going to shut this unwind. I'm going to shut this uh, unwind stand off. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, shut the air off to this slide valve, and I'm also going to shut the air off to the brake. So now my air, my main air pressure right now, these slide valves don't do anything because I shut the air off going in. I'm going to disconnect the air, and I'm going to show you how this brake is very easy to disassemble. So I loosen up this bolt, and loosen up this bolt. And that whole assembly comes out. And the pads are very simply held in with a magnet. So here's your friction pad. Again, these pads are available in three different coefficients of friction. Inside of here, there's a magnet that holds the pad in, and that just snaps in. So when you want to change your air or when you want to change your friction pads, it's extremely easy. Loosen two bolts, pull the assembly out, pull the pads out, pop a new one in, or you can replace. All, all of all um, uh, four of them in one one assembly. Um, whatever needs to be changed. Once those are changed out, you can take the unit and drop it back into the brake assembly. And all you do is you tighten up these bolts. Reconnect your air, turn the air pressure back on, put my slide valve down, I just engaged those pads, now I can turn this back on, and my machine is back to running with web tension. So that's how fast and easy it is to change out the brake pads on this brake. Um, we, on uh, our website, which is www.converteraccessory.com, we have uh, calculators that allow you to size the, the proper friction pads for your application. And also, we have calculators that will tell you how much uh, heat, re uh, heat dissipation you're going to require for your, uh, for your, for your application. 
Also, keep in mind, in order to run through those calculations, you will need to know how much web tension you want to run on your material. I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to measure web tension in another video. So I'm going to show you a, a quick and easy and very effective method of measuring web tension in your process, but I'm going to save that for another uh, technical video. The brake itself will deliver anywhere between 2 inch pounds of torque up to about 3,000 inch pounds of torque to your web. We have that broad range of capability with this brake. And uh, we get about one horsepower of cooling at very slow speeds, very slow running speeds, up to about six horsepower of cooling at high running speeds. So we get a very uh, a good amount of cooling with this brake. Um, thank you for watching uh, the technical video on CAC's air operated tension brake. Um, and uh, our contact information will be at the end of this video. Feel free to contact one of our sales engineers and discuss your application for a break.